It is a deadly disease that has claimed the lives of a child and one dozen animals in New York this year. Now state officials are pledging to step up efforts to combat the mosquito-borne triple E virus. Your health reporter Sarah Campo explains. It's a disease the Wilcox family knows better than most. I don't want um, my daughter to have died and nothing positive to come out of this. So that's why I'm here. In August, four-year-old Maggie Wilcox of Oswego County died after contracting triple E, a deadly virus transferred by mosquitoes. Wilcox was the only person to die from the disease this year. Across the state, 12 animals were killed by triple E, one of them in St. Lawrence County. Senator Patty Ritchie is calling top state and local experts together to brainstorm ways to have a preventive plan in place before mosquito season returns next year. EEE prevention will be a, a, a key thing. We do not want to have a repeat of, of this year, and we want to understand what happened this year and how we can better approach it uh, going forward. The main goal, getting the message out. Senator Ritchie proposes using the New York alert system to notify people of triple E cases as they occur. We can get text messages out, emails out immediately to people, and it's something that I've heard from everyone at the table that it, it's really tough to get the message out to the people who need to hear it. Whether the information about triple E comes through a text or any other form of communication, lawmakers agree it's vital information that will save people from experiencing the pain the Wilcox family is going through. For your health, Sarah Campo, 7 News.